Welcome to Eternal Elements Learning Podcast brought to you by Tessa Online. These podcasts are a part of the audio certificate programs on Tessa Online. You are free to take these podcasts on your desired portal also should you only wish to learn on the go. Thank you so much for engaging on these podcasts and you can connect with the author on LinkedIn, Twitter and Facebook. Hi, this is Nikit Karasgi from Atessa Online, bringing to you Eternal Element Podcast. We're discussing strategy, we're discussing strategy formulation, we're discussing strategy execution. In my earlier podcast, I talked about long-term objectives. Objectives are tactics used to achieve goals. There are strategic goals that the organization has to accomplish. In order to accomplish these goals, we need strategies. And there are generic strategies and there are grand strategies. We are going to talk about generic strategies, which are primarily a core idea about how a firm can best compete in the marketplace. It was determined by Michael Porter, and there are three specific generic strategies. First, low-cost leadership. Second, differentiation. Third, focus. Let's talk about the first one. We're talking about low-cost leadership. We all know every firm has its own fixed costs. And fixed costs are overcome through sales. That means in order to achieve the economy of scale and ensure that we can compete in the marketplace with cost leadership, we need to pull our costs down. Now, how do we do that? In two ways. One, you look at your business value chain and decide which are those values that you need to work on and the value additions that you need to do, but also ensure that you look at the non-value adding processes in order to cut costs. So one is to cut costs. Second is to accomplish the economy of scale by ensuring that the volumes are so high that ultimately the cost gets distributed over those volumes. And therefore, we accomplish a space of low cost leadership. Low cost leadership in international business is taken to be one of the fundamental approaches, because ultimately in international business, it's all about economic scale. Therefore, organizations move into globalized world so that the marketplace that they address is large enough to ensure that economy of scale is accomplished. Technology is another area by which we can drive low-cost leadership. The second is differentiation The differentiation leadership is all about specific strategies by which we bring about a competitive advantage by differentiating or separating a product or a service by stressing on its attributes and its product qualities or service qualities, which are difficult for competition to really match up with. It ensures customer loyalty and customer advocacy. Differentiation at times becomes expensive because you value adding to the product or the service. But over a period of time, again, you can accomplish economies of scale. Therefore, differentiation is the next generic strategy. A lot of organizations which are into high-end products and services tend to look at differentiation because low-cost leadership is all about mass and volumes. Focus is our third strategy where the firm decides whether they want to accomplish it through low cost base or through differentiation and look at a particular market segment. They identify their most appealing typical customer and package their service and product around that particular customer. That becomes a focus strategy. There's also the low cost of the differentiation strategy that's working out in the global market today because if you can achieve that, that means you are offering a superior product in the market. And that superior product can actually focus on that particular segment and you can really, really do extremely well. But what to do? There are some segments which are luxury segments. They are the upmarket segments. And you don't really want to give a low-priced product because nobody would want to take it. So if you look at generic competencies, there are three of them. The low-cost leadership, the differentiation, and focus. However, in the international business today, there's a lot of focus happening on can we provide differentiation with low cost. In the digital world, the fourth strategy is really working out pretty well because if you look at freemium pricing, in freemium pricing, 
Most of the things are free, but the differentiation is where the charge happens. If you look at the knowledge field, like on a TSO online, what you tend to do is the entire content is available for free. But when you get into a quiz and you want a certificate, we expect that you pay for it. And that becomes a freemium strategy. So over these three generic strategies also, there are other strategies that are evolving as the market moves. Why are these generic strategies important? These are primarily strategies, as I said, it's all about how do we compete in the marketplace. And when we have to compete in the marketplace, either we compete on price or we compete on our specifications and our value additions that we tend to offer to the market or unique value proposition that we offer to the market, which brings us to the point of differentiation. We also may choose to focus on certain countries, focus on certain target segment, and that may require specific differentiation and specific cost-oriented approaches. So these are the three generic strategies. Thank you very much. This is Niket Kalaski signing off from Eternal Elements, brought to you by Tessa Online. I'm going to take you through the grand strategies in my next podcast. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next podcast.